the multifaceted malaise that the Obama administration finds itself in plays right into the hands of the conservative opposition. With more on this, Colleen McCain-Nelson joins us now from our bureau in Washington. Uh, Colleen, thanks for being there. Thanks for having me. So let's go, let's go through the, 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 the scandals that basically seem to be dogging the administration. We've got the Benghazi issues uh, with regard to um, diplomats being killed there. We've got the AP um, phone records uh, swiped by the Justice Department. And then we've got the Internal Revenue Service going after um, conservative groups. This, this is a mess. It's kind of a long list that you rattled off there, and it, it, it's not necessarily any one of, of these controversies. The cumulative effect is, is what's so problematic for the White House. They, the fact that so many of these things are enveloping the White House at the same time, it's really threatening to kind of derail the, their agenda it's going to consume all the political oxygen, at least for the moment. And meanwhile, the White House is trying to steer the conversation back to their middle class agenda or immigration reform. But that's not what anyone in Washington is talking about. And, and they're talking about the administration really being what the conservatives have been thinking and, and, and saying for a while, sort of overbearing too much state, getting in, involved too much in, in our business. Right. I mean, this has been the Republican cry for, for quite some time, is that uh, the Obama administration favors big government, that they want the government too involved in your lives. And so now Republicans are able to say, look, what happens when we have big government? You know, we have overreach. We have uh, people doing things that they shouldn't be doing. And so this absolutely is an argument that Republicans are all too happy to make. And, and it, it kind of allows them to say, our worst fears are coming true. And are people uh, comparing all of this to the Nixon administration uh, and, and, and the Watergate scandal, or has it not got that bad? Well, there, there certainly are any number of comparisons being made by Republicans. Republicans have, uh, have used the, the Nixon comparison. I heard someone today talking about comparing one of the controversies to Iran-Contra. I mean, there are just any, any number of past scandals they want to attach to this administration now. Of course, the Obama folks say that um, it's ridiculous to overblow these things in, in such a way and that we need to be patient and let all the facts come out. And and um, that that's just kind of partisan hyperbole. So, I mean, the uh, Obama administration has been quick to push back against those comparisons and, and say, look, we don't know everything there is to know yet. And these, these controversies didn't all involve the White House. Some of them involved other agencies that the White House says they're just learning about these controversies now, too. And they're distancing their, themselves from them. Yeah, and, and, and Colleen, it was very interesting to, to watch uh, J Jake Carney, uh, your White House press secretary, squirm in, in a barrage of questions uh, this afternoon and basically try not to answer anything. I, I have a feeling that he's going to be doing a lot more of that as more things come out. Is that a fair assessment? Things don't come out all at once. They sort of come out in dribs and drabs, right? Right. He's had a rough few days, and, and you saw in today's briefing he got an hour's worth of questions about Benghazi and the IRS and the Department of Justice. I mean, just one after another. And finally, an hour in, somebody asked about the Pakistani elections, and he looked so relieved to talk about Pakistan, if even for a moment. But um, we certainly haven't heard the last about any of these controversies, and so he's going to endure some rough briefings for at least the, the next several days. And, you know, as the White House has pointed out, there's still more to learn. And we're going to get the IRS report from the inspector general here pretty quickly. So there are going to be new facts coming out, and that's going to continue to keep these stories alive. Okay. Well, we'll be inviting you back at that point. Thank you very much, Colleen McCain-Nelson.